All right, I just got done watching the Blackmagic Design uh, NAB announcement, and holy smokes. Last year, I thought, I was like, there's, there, there's no way they're going to top that. Like, that was a big year last year with Pixis and the Ursa Cine and all that. And I thought this year might be like a, a low-key year. Nope, they came out the gate swinging, and they've put like every camera company on notice. And I want to talk about just a couple of things in... In this video, just uh, some of the things that I'm really excited about, and I will be going to uh, NAB uh, tomorrow. I haven't even packed yet, so uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, because I will hopefully be able to uh, chat with somebody at Blackmagic Design and uh, get some answers for you. So, first up, uh, this was something that nobody saw coming, and it has to do initially with this camera. This is the Cinema Camera 6K full frame, and it is it's getting autofocus. In fact, I'm going to download the beta firmware and test it out and see how it goes. I don't know if it's going to work with EF lenses or with the MC21 adapter with a Sigma art lens, but if not, I will most certainly try to get my hands on an L mount lens to test that out. So that's really cool. It's got object tracking, uh, face tracking, and it's I didn't even know it was like possible. I thought this was, anyways, super cool. Uh, that just kind of breathed new life into this camera. And I think a lot of people were worried that like the Pixis had had like kind of sunsetted this camera. And the fact that uh, you're getting autofocus, I think is pretty evident that it's still a very much irrelevant camera for Blackmagic design and for the future. So uh, I'm super stoked to try that out. And then the the big thing, which was kind of leaked uh, in in a way, uh, on the basically on the side of the building at NAB, it was a giant banner of the Pixis 12K, and now it's officially announced. And this thing looks amazing. You get 12K up to 40 frames per second in open gate, and if you go to 8K and 4K in open gate, then you get a max frame rate of 72 frames per second. That is an open gate, but if you go down to uh, 16 by 9 and 17 by 9 uh, windowing on the sensor, then those frame rates actually go up. And that is also true for a 2401 crop aspect ratio as well. So, really exciting there. It's going to have the same image as the Ursa Cine 12K. So, I'm really, really excited about that camera. We'll try to get some hands on with the camera. I don't know if I'll be able to record anything while I'm there, but um, hopefully I'll get my hands on one of them at some point in the future. It looks like it's coming out in July, so really excited for that, and it is priced at $4,995, so basically $5,000, and that uh, that kind of makes sense. I mean, that's there's there's the body-only Ursa Cine 12K, which is like $7,000, so that kind of Start, that kind of fills that that middle road and it looks like it's the exact same body dimensions and everything as the Pixis 6k so all the cages and all that stuff should work no problem and they came out with uh, an, another accessory with the, the top handle for the Pixis which is kind of more of like broadcast or like uh, I immediately thought of like a dad cam or like you know old old skateboard videos and stuff like that like old like DVX cameras and stuff What's up, dude? I'm filming a video. Can I call you back? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Go do your thing. <laughs> All right, peace. This is totally going in the video. I'm going to NAB with Josh. We're geeking out about this over the live stream. So we got the top handle, and they also announced the Pixis monitor will actually work with the micro cinema camera, or micro studio camera G2, the one that has the pocket 4K sensor. That's really cool. That's uh, That's one of those cameras that, like, would like replace a GoPro for me just because of how small it is and to be able to access the menu system and everything from the, the Pixis monitor kind of breathes new life into that camera. So think of like mounting it and like, you know, on, on the side of your car and using a really long USB-C cable to like monitor and all that and all that. So really exciting. As you can tell, I'm really jazzed up about it. Blackmagic has always been one of my like favorite camera companies and the fact that now they're introducing autofocus into their cameras and the demo the demo looked pretty good so all we all, we know it's just going to get better from here on out now they also introduced a whole host of switchers and and all that kind of stuff and even a new uh, 
almost it looks like a NAS essentially. And uh, but I'm not very knowledgeable and don't use those kinds of things all that often, so I'm not going to pretend I know what I'm talking about on that. But they also made an announcement of DaVinci Resolve 20, which looks like a massive improvement over DaVinci Resolve 19. A lot of new AI features that I'm really excited about. One of the things that I use quite a bit is there's a little, you can like basically drag a, a song and, and extend the song and uses AI to find a good cut point and to mix it. That's so useful for YouTube videos or even interviews or whatever the case may be. That's actually pretty time consuming, so that's really cool. And then just a whole host of other features. A lot of it in the color page in, in Fusion that I probably wouldn't be able to even like utilize with my M1 Max MacBook Pro, but hopefully I will upgrade my computer at some point this year so I can try to take advantage of some of that. So uh, I'll try to talk to somebody over at the Blackmagic booth that, um, that knows more about DaVinci Resolve and the updates than, than I do. So um, like I said, leave your uh, questions down in the comment section below and I will try to ask as many questions as I can and get as much information as I can and either put it in a video or respond to it in the comments. But I'm super stoked, can't wait to go check everything out and see everything in person. And it is two o'clock, so I need to wrap this up and actually go pack and, and call Josh back. Thanks for watching. I know it was a pretty rough video, but I'm excited about this. So um, yeah, be on the lookout for videos. Peace.